What's up fellow explorers of the Aurora Valley? My name is Sid Leaker and today we are going to be checking out the season 8 patch notes. And season 8, 8 is my favorite number. And we're just gonna jump right into it. It says maintenance note is right here. Maintenance note is November 7, 2019. Um, so that's this Thursday. Um, we're gonna zoom in a little bit, just like that. The new season. The Twilight Overlord has led his army of chaos beasts into the Aurora Valley. Through the Sakura did his best. Through the Sakura did their best to repel the invaders. Their resistance was futile. Following the words of an ancient legend, the Shield Samurai have activated the three ancient altars of the Aurora Valley, summoning the fourth Desert Warriors, the Order of the Silver Wings, and the Dragon Riders. Join the forces of justice and drive the invaders from Aurora Valley. I just want to say one quick thing. This is literally Botopia. Botopia has the same, it has exactly those altars as you uh, can see down there in the past notes. It has exactly that. It has the same skins, the dragons and the riders and stuff. It's the same. So that's not really that special. All new Season 8 Legend of the Altars will begin on November the 7th. This season will last from November 7th to January 23rd, 2020. Doesn't that look cool, 2020? Explorers will receive rewards and starting new tiers according to Season 7 tiers. So it's time for a new adventure. So you will get uh, other rewards than usual. So the stupid frame you always get. Now you get actual rewards, probably like accessory or something like that. New season, new environment mechanics. In season 8, there will be three altars in three locations of the map. The ice altar in the snowy northern region, the fire altar in the volcanic area to the south, and the wind altar in the mountainous forest of the east. Shortly after each battle begins, players will be able to stand at each altar and pray. After 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 nothing after nothing okay well i guess we have to skip that wind blessing generates a small tornado on the ground ahead can blow explorers into the high air okay that's pretty cool fire blessing bullets fired while this bonus is active gain an additional burn effect enemies that are hit will continuously take fire damage I, do, I honestly do not hope that that damage is gonna be much because if it's like with the napalm nade, if that deals 5 damage every time, that would fucking suck. Um, Dice Blessing. Bullets fired while this blessing is active uh, gain an additional freeze effect. Uh, damage dealt by bullets will reduce the enemy's movement speed. That's actually really good. The new season. Tier reward upgrade. With the arrival of Season 8, we have fully upgraded the end of Season rewards. When Season 8 comes to an end, you will receive rewards according to your tier. You can now see the rewards on offer for different tiers in the rank interface on your profile. That's pretty sick. Hope, hopefully you get like diamonds from it, but honestly, I think they're gonna give you gold or, or star coins. I don't think they're gonna give you anything special. Um, uh, we've also added pack vouchers to end of season bonuses. You can now use pack vouchers. That is really nice to draw certain special packs. That's pretty nice addition to the game. And the bell's ringing. I gotta go. Okay, that was my brother. Again, always my brother. In addition to the end of season rewards, we've also added tier breakthrough rewards. When reaching a new highest ever tier, you will receive loads of rewards i got professional how am i supposed to get invincible gunner it's not even possible that 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 i don't know how that system works guess we'll have to find out new item drone joins the tray in season eight in this new season explorers will be able to pick up drones in battle drones can be used to eliminate enemies from afar new season the season major season pass upgrade major Season passes have also been updated for the new season. Oh, really? Season 8 season pass will include the Twilight Overlord, the Chaos Beast, the Desert Warrior, the Order of the Silver Wings, 
the Dragon Rider and many other gorgeous looks. For real? These skins sound very cool. Add them to your collection this season. Season passes have received a particularly different, significant upgrade this time. Flex passes will come with a vehicle skin. Oh yes! Red Lightning. For unbeatable value this season, get yours as soon as you- That's sick! A vehicle skin, yes. These are always so expensive from packs. And that was really nice. I, I think it will be tier 100, of course. Because you won't get them at one. If it's tier 1, though, that will be cool. Uh, new season, other adjustments. The season pass missions have also been adjusted in this update. What has been adjusted? The season airship voice clips have also been replaced. So new voice things from the airship. The number of trees have been reduced. Amazing. Greatly optimizing performance on low spec devices. That was it. That's the season 8 pass notes. It is cool if you like think about the skins and stuff. But the new additions, it's like a drone is new. And the season pass has been a little bit upgraded. Behind that, yeah, you got map changes, but these map changes were all, all, already in Biltopia. So um, also Lion Park might actually be destroyed. I will show you a screenshot of that in a second. But I don't that's also from Biltopia. They're they're Biltopia used to be Creative Destruction 2, but now Creative Destruction is becoming Biltopia 2. It's not really cool. Um, let me see if I can get the screenshot off a lion park. So yeah, I got it in here. The Creative Destruction posted on their Instagram. Boom. And then a um, picture with lion park exploding. But that was already in Biltopia. So I commented under it. How original. Yeah. It's not, it's not really original at all because in Biltopia Lion Park has already been destroyed and these altars have already are already in Biltopia as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, although that's not visible anymore. Uh, subscribe and comment down below what you think of season 8. And I personally think it's not that cool because they've added things that were in Biltopia and but they got drones though, so that's pretty that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing else really special from that. So uh, bye bye, explorers of the world.